For the breaking news we've been following all morning, at least seven people are killed and nine others hurt after the U.S. launches missiles at a Syrian airbase. This strike in response to the chemical weapons attack carried out earlier this week where 80 civilians were killed. Mike Puccinelli live in the CBS2 control room with reaction this morning to these developments. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. The Syrian leaders that we spoke with, for the most part, are pleased that the administration ordered the attack on the regime of Bashar al-Assad. But they hope it's just the first move in what they say should be a sustained response. Now, the launch of more than 50 Tomahawk cruise missiles from two American warships was a direct response to a sarin nerve gas attack that killed at least 25 children. Now, the attack is believed to have originated from the Tom's airfield that was attacked last night. The U.S. strike is meant to send a message to Assad and his ally Russia that the use of chemical weapons will not be tolerated. Syrian dissidents in America say they hope the Trump administration goes even further. The essence of the problem is Assad himself. He created the refugees. He created all the havoc that's going on right now. And in order for us to really address the Syrian refugees, we have to address the removal of Assad. Illinois Senior Senator Dick Durbin was informed of the attack as it was happening. He says any further action by Washington will require congressional scrutiny and the support of the American people. The war in Syria has been going on for some six years and has claimed more than 400,000 lives and created some 5 million refugees. Reporting in the control, I'm Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Final? All right, Mike, thank you.